Um, hello. Uh, today we're going to be uh, running uh, a Puppy Linux uh, using a virtual machine uh, on this um, inexpensive generic Android tablet. Um, the first thing you're going to need is the Limbo ARM 7, which is uh, an ARM compiled uh, uh, Kimu um, virtual machine. So here we have it here and we're clicking on it. Alright, now this shows you your virtual machine. Now I want to open, I've already set up this low-level puppy. So here we go. And we're going to do the this one here. And we're going to do a start. So she's starting. Okay, here's our standard um, uh, element here, and it's starting to load, as you can see. Now, there are several approaches to um, using Linux on an Android tablet. Now, uh, I should say something about the hardware first. This is a generic uh, Android tablet. Uh, okay, we're booting the kernel now. This is the uh, uh, this is a really low-level tablet. It's got four gigs, and um, uh, it's got a uh, five twelve in the RAM, and uh, it's got about a a gigahertz, a little over a gigahertz processor. Now, uh, I've run this on a on a regular PC on a laptop. It runs a lot faster. Um, let's, uh, as this lo is loading, let us uh, talk about several approaches to using Linux on a uh, on an Android tablet. Oh, here we go. Now. Uh, we're going to start searching for the puppy now. Um, it's starting to search for the puppy, uh, the actual file which we have in here to get loaded. Now there are several approaches to, uh, to putting Linux on an Android tablet. Uh, one of them is to, uh, one, one approach is to do this natively. That is to actually run the Linux in an ARM processor. You can look at the Pung Pod and you can look at um, uh, now we're uh, we're uh, switching the route, we're moving quite a, quite along here fast, quickly. Uh, the uh, you can look at the Pung Pod which is an actual tablet that, that runs uh, Linux uh, natively or you can um, go to Bohodi uh, Linux, which has uh, an ARM-based uh, uh, based Linux that works on a number of tablets, uh, uh, the Google Nexus and, uh, and some of the others. You could check the site. The other approach is to use some kind of virtual machine, which we're doing here. Uh, I do not have a powerful tablet here, so your best approach is, uh, if you have one, is to go to Linux on Android. You can get that by by googling it and you'll find uh, a number of um, Linux distributions that are set up to run in uh, uh, in the Android environment. Now uh, I see we're moving along here. Uh, the uh, the problem is that uh, these distributions are pretty large, uh, seven, 750 megs, is, uh, and it's just too much for the system. So our alternative is to use uh, the Kimu uh, virtual machine, which is uh, unlike VirtualBox and VM, is a very simple uh, virtual machine. So someone has uh, set this up for us. Um, with an Android app, which we just saw the Limbo um, 
apt, which you can find on the uh, on the, uh, the Play Store, or, or you can get the actual package uh, somewhere out there if you're not fortunate enough to have the uh, the market apt in there for your for your Google Play. Uh, so uh, I'm running a very low level uh, puppy, a cut down version of a 4.12. So uh, actually, here we are. We're actually up now, and it's looking for its password uh, in a minute here. Now I have a keyboard connected to this, which makes things a lot simpler. If you want to connect a keyboard up, you've got to get a special cable that has the jumpers for it. You can go do a Google search for this, and then you can just connect a uh, uh, a USB uh, um, uh, a USB uh, keyboard, which I've done here. It helps out a lot. Okay. So it's ready to go, and we're putting in root. And we're putting in our password, which is P-U-P-N-G-O. Uh, and it's taken it. As you can see now, we've, uh, we've got a, um, uh, a prompt. And this tells us also that it's um, at root, but puppy always moves at root. So this is a a, uh, a bit of a a benefit here, I think, because we don't have to do any sudo and su stuff. Okay, so we're up here. Now we want to get the GUI to run. So, the first thing we do is we do first boot. Now, it's telling us the first thing we want to do is configure what we've got here. By the way, this keyboard makes it real easy. Okay, we're now we're looking for a uh, a keyboard, and we have a twenty nine, which is a US. All right, now this is asking us, uh, assuming that we had, had installed this in some way, do we? Uh, do we want to uh, auto log in? Uh, well, it really doesn't make any difference here, but I'm going to put uh, one on it. Uh, do you want to um, uh, connect to the uh, the network? And I'll say yes on this. Okay, so now we've configured the system up. Now notice this that we're we're working on a uh, a cut down Puppy Linux 4.12. Now uh, now we can install some additional programs. Now we want to here do this. There. Now what we've got is Lynx, which is a text based web browser. We've got um, a library set up, and we've got what we really want, which is a, a basic graphic text uh, uh, desktop. Uh, so we're going to get that in now. Uh, 
All right, we're all set now, and we've got that back in there. Now we can um, go, and we're going to do a quip. And it's asking us for another quit. Now we're back again to com uh, the the root uh, command line level. And uh, uh, since we've got a GUI in there, and uh, we're going to have an X window, so we'll put we'll run now our X windows. All right. Um, sometimes I do have uh, a uh, mouse connected, but uh, here I'm just going to put the USB as if it's in there to give it something. Now it's going to ask me for the... Uh, for the setup of the uh, of the actual windows, um, it's taking a second here. There we go. Okay, so um, I've experimented with a few uh, of these. Uh, I think it's best just to go with the low level uh, one, which is uh, the lowest one. Uh, and there we go. Again, uh, do you want to um, uh, start X? Uh, well, we can just say yes on here. All right, now it's setting up our desktop. Now, all the puppies have this, this appearance to them. And an X windows. So we'll, it's now constructing the, um, the desktop. Now it's building the desktop. As you can see, it's a standard, there's a standard desktop. Okay, and there's our um, our puppy Linux running. Uh, I must admit that this uh, arrangement's quite unstable in this. Uh, I've experimented a bit with it. Um, you will probably have a much better tablet than this, and uh, attempt to run it in that way. So that's where we are now. Um, I must admit that uh, it's, a, it's a bit unstable on this tablet, but we are running a GUI puppy, cut down puppy, on, on our Android system. Remember, this is a virtual machine. So if it crashes, we've still got our Android in the back. So um, thanks a lot.